Welcome back, villagers, to another episode of Hugh Trent, the insurance man. I am furious because of what happened to Donald Trump a couple days ago. So, Attorney General Letitia James, along with Smigo, Judge Engron, they threw a hammer at Donald Trump. $355 million of civil fraud case, and uh, he had to pay for this. And it bothers me because, full disclosure, I had never... Um, supported you know President Donald Trump until what I saw they did to him in 2020 the election was rigged because legacy media everybody and their mamas profit millions off of Donald Trump in and in exchange they tried to destroy this man bury this man and take him away from uh, the office and when I saw this I, I woke up um, it was my own stupidity that I allow legacy media psyop to control my thinking because everything I see on the news on legacy media is always Trump bad, Trump bad, Trump bad, Trump bad, Trump bad. But when I research what they're telling the the audience, it wasn't true, and that's crazy because there are so many people right now still stuck in that psyop, and it's getting very scary for our country. I'll make more videos explaining what I see, throw facts at you guys over feelings. But this video, I want to focus on the uh, the silver uh, uh, case, the, the 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 fraud silver case, you know, brought up by uh, Attorney General Letitia James and her Smigo Judge uh, Engron, and, and it bothers me because he had to pay three hundred and fifty-five million dollars. That's a lot of money. Remember, guys. This is what they're doing to our ex-president. It's not fair. I'll give you guys facts and I, I'll just give you guys a, a, a breakdown of the real estate side of it. And you tell me what you think in the comment section because this is ridiculous. Uh, full disclosure, I never supported our ex-president Donald Trump until I saw what they did to him in 2020. So the last three years, I've been doing a lot of research and I will stand with him for 2024 because... I strongly believe he have America best interest. His foreign policies are powerful. It makes people pay United States of America more money if they want to work with us, if they want to do business in our country. United States of America, Americans, we are the number one consumer in the whole world. So, but I'll talk more about his policy in another video. Okay, so the breakdown, what happened? What actually happened? Man, this is crazy because... So real estate. I'm gonna tell you guys the breakdown of this whole video and then I'll throw in some juice, okay? So this whole video is gonna be about uh, facts. What is going on? Mar-a-Lago is Spanish for Sea to Lake. This is a historic, I'm talking about historic landmark that he bought in 1985. And this property, it had like 162 rooms along with like three bomb shelters meaning if that place get bombed and you're in the shelters you are safe but that's just extra facts along with it and and this is what bothers me the attorney general Letitia James along with her Smigo Judge Engron they came up with some came up with some Bullshit paperwork. The valuation for this historic property of 18 million. That angers me because I do real estate investment. You ask any realtor, any person that have a brain that know what real estate is, they will tell you this valuation is bullshit. Because a beachfront, Palm Beach, Florida, beachfront view resort, 62,000 square feet, is not worth. 18 million along with so um, did you know that the 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 roof tiles and the the, uh, the marble floor is from a Cuban castle values go up because these are historic rare shit when you have rare shit like this people loves it so the value is gonna go up go up and I believe let's see it was in 2022 uh, Forbes came out with their 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 valuation for uh, Mar a Lago, um, the lowest valuation, three hundred twenty five million, 
and the highest they got was 725 million which i believe is still low uh, because if you look at mar-a-lago it's a beautiful resort we're talking about five out of five star type of shit and just from my knowledge from my real estate uh, experience you can look at one billion one billion valuation so those are some quick facts but according to corrupt in new york city they gave the valuation of 18 million and this is where donald trump got in trouble because according to them he fraud uh paperwork so that way he can get a better business deal um a better loan and and you can get in trouble for that because you cannot fake paperwork but but this is the headed part this is a, the, the things that they will not tell you on, on legacy media you have a property you do your valuation you let the bank know hey this is what i have and in exchange i'm asking you guys to give me x amount of dollar x amount of dollars in the loan that you're asking for the bank have their own valuation they go hmm okay this correct that's correct that's not correct we don't want that so they give you another valuation but they didn't do that they approved they approved his loan and they gave that to him but wait but what make matters worse trump repaid that loan plus interest he did everything that the bank wanted him to do borrow a loan pay back with interest close chapter we move on but that's not according to corruption in new york city attorney general letitia james and her smeagol judge angeron you both made a huge mistake you may you may be able to please some sheep but when you look at the overall picture what you guys just did you cost new york city trillion of dollars because now the big cats the big road dog they do not want to do business in new york city and that's a fact because of what you did to our ex-president donald trump it will cause a lot of fear for any smart sane person to do business in new york city y'all fucked up fafo fuck around and you're gonna find out because number one truckers would not be delivering food to new york city any longer so in about two weeks from now prepare to go hungry and i and i can't blame these these uh, these uh, truckers because they're standing up for our ex-president and they have their right to be it's a free country but what both of y'all did you done did it you're gonna find out and, and and that's the thing you guys i just gave you a bunch of facts a bunch of juice and it bothers me because if they can do this to an ex-president what makes you think that they won't do anything to you? We gotta wake up because real shit is coming. When shit hit the fan, all these corrupt politicians, all these rich folks, they're not gonna feel it because they're not the middle class like you and I. We don't wake up now, villagers. We're gonna pay for a heavy price. And that's the end of my video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section because like I said, I had never supported our ex-president Donald Trump. That was my stupidity. But I woke up in 2020 and it's been three years. My heart, my passion is all here. So that's why I'm making more videos like this to expose the West propaganda. Because we got to wake up because our country is fucked. Next video is going to be about the illegal immigrants that are pouring in. And what is the real agenda? Comment. And if you want to show me some love, subscribe. I really appreciate you villagers. Thank you for watching. Until next time.